In this lab, we're going to record the mass and volume of six objects. So get out a pencil and paper and get ready to collect some data. To collect data, we're going to make a very rough data table. On the far left, we're going to put a number sign for the number of the object. Skip a little space, put M for mass. Skip a little space, V for volume, and then D for density. Draw lines down to make the three columns like that, and then we'll draw lines across. They don't have to be straight to make room for six objects. The first three objects are cylinders, so we're going to represent those as 1C, 2C, and 3C. The other objects are blocks, so we're going to represent those as 1B, 2B, and 3B. Pause the video or go back if you haven't made the data table yet. You're going to need it because we're going to start to collect the mass and volume of these six objects. So take a minute, pause and go back and make your data table. These are three different metals, samples of three different metals. So these are all cubes of the same volume. So same volume. Right. These are cubes, yep, and these are cylinders with the same mass. I'm going to take the cylinder number one, and it's good. Okay, and number two cylinder. Number three cylinder. We'll use volume displacement to find the volumes of the cylinders and begin with cylinder one. Of cylinder number one, initial volume. 63. And this one looks to be 74. All right, volume of cylinder number two. Okay, the initial volume. Yep, starting at 63. It looks like 76. So now we're going to do calculate the volume of number three cylinder through volume of water displacement. Let me just get the volume there, 63. Okay. 100. This is cube number one. We're going to measure its mass. Okay. Cube number two. Okay. And cube number three. Okay. Okay. All right. Now we will measure the volume of the cubes. We can see that each side has a length measurement of 2.5 centimeters per edge and that all the cubes have the same dimensions. Now use the data of mass and volume of each of these six objects to calculate the density. Once the density has been calculated, you should be able to tell which cylinder and block is made of the same material and by looking at a reference table what the material is identify the material of each.